All right, it's a little breezy, but uh, five inch Punisher M2050. Gotta put the tracker in it, and uh, you guys have seen this all happen before, so I'm just gonna do that. Not too crazy. Perfect weather. So they wanted to do a pad continuity test, so we're waiting for Angela to go back to the table to make sure we got continuity before we fly. Rocket's on the pad. All right, guys, pad's got continuity. Altimeters are beeping three times each. We're gonna put the igniter leads on and get the hell out of here. So I don't know how you can hear me, but yeah, main chute's still stuck in the nose. I'm gonna have to learn how to pack these better. But here's the best part about the way I build these things. Good. Damn, the clear coat did a baller job. Look at that. The fins aren't even chipped up or anything. Well, we got every bit of 12,000 and so yeah. went 12,944, so that M2050 and the 4-inch Punisher would be a wild ride. Um, yeah, Taylor and I are getting really good at just dropping these things out of the sky with no main shoot, so I think it's time to just stop putting them in there all together. It's fine. You got this ready to go? Pretty much. K1275. Sick. I think this right here is about as good as it's going to get. Perfect. Yeah. Rocket, all bombs rock. It's a wild man extreme dark star, 4 inches in diameter, 81 inches long, and weighing in at 17 pounds. It'll be going up today on a K-1275, which is an Aerotech Redline motor. We have two altimeters on board, the main inspected at 1,200 feet. We're looking to go at about 6,500 feet today, so everyone wants to keep an eye on this. Day two of this Triple Idaho launch, and it was supposed to be less windy today, but now it's just more cold. So cool. Uh, Bald Mom's Rock is ready to fly again. It's got an L850 this time. The K1275 didn't break its altitude record, so we're just gonna put the nail in that coffin real quick. It should go about 10,000 feet, and the wind's not. It's less windy than when I flew the M yesterday. So if we can hurry up and fly it, it should be all right. There we go. God, it's cold. It sucks. <laughs> Ridiculous. 
Alright, I'm gonna sit in my car for a second if you want to fill out your flight card in your car. Our flight make, card. Make sure. J-150 Mellow Yellow uh, has uh, altimeter deployment, dual deploy with no drogue, main shoot at 800 feet, um, easy mini altimeter. Uh, we have GPS tracking on it, and the wind actually seems to be fairly favorable. The sky is clear, the range is clear, we are flying on pad B-2 in 5, 4, I don't have... Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, we're good. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a little spin on it. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and fly Braden's rocket first. King Kraken tube fin rocket on an H550 motor ejection on B2 arming. Mm, are you in two or one? You're on one. One, yeah. There we go. Skies are clear. Three, two, one. I'm not sure how much of the flight you actually got to see, but I thought it might have taken one of the fins off because it started flying funny after the motor burned out, but it's all good. Just maybe a little too much for the crack in there.